Hi guys, I'm Finny with Bubbles and in today's video I'm going to be showing the one tip that I use to make lots of money in Rocket League and get me any item that I really, really want. And just before we get into today's video guys, I want to give a massive thanks to all of you because we have reached 200 subscribers, I think we're up to like 230 or something amazing like that. Um, everyone who subscribed after 200 you will still be in the giveaway, um, just as I haven't announced anything. Um, just, just after I um, finish just recording this video I'm gonna contact the winner um, and then we're going to trade on Epic Games um, and I'll give them like five days to respond um, so probably just between a video um, and then I'll uh, then yep and then I'll be announcing the next giveaway um, which I think I'm gonna do like a preset or something I haven't fully decided yet but I'll let you know in the next video um, but anyway let's get right into the video okay so this one tip is patience now obviously a lot of you are thinking oh I'm very patient oh I'm very patient or how does this have to do with making money in Rocket League but I'm going to give you a couple of examples here so say you recently buy um, fire gold for its minimum value and you've been trying to sell it for the for the entire day you've been on Rocket League you're struggling to find a buyer and you think at the end of the day you're a bit worried that it might go down it might not and you really want to just sell it, so you just set, sell it for a really bad price, which only gives you a bit of, bit of profit. Um, now, this is where patience really just come in, because you need to be... You need to really just take your time, wait for the correct offers, and just um, be very persistent with uh, selling your items. And this goes for the exact same thing of trying to buy an item. You don't really want to be buying items from in price, as I just said with the fire god. You want to be sort of buying it for a bit less. And that's where patience really comes in again. Because um, you want to be taking your time before finding a deal. Don't just, like, if you want, like, say, Interstellar, don't, as soon as you see the first trade pop up for it, don't accept that offer. Have a look around, see what the best offers are available, and post some of your own offers, see if you can get it for a bit less. Because there's always people that are looking for, like, um, uh, our trading post, our garage, who aren't posting any um, trades, but they are wanting to sell an item. So yeah, you really just need to be patient, take your time when uh, doing a trade, uh, really think about whether the, whether a trade is worth it or not, and just be ready to hold on to an item for an entire day, maybe even a week, because chances are the item won't go up or down in value. Um, and you can just hold on to it and wait for a really good offer. Okay, so yeah, you, you, the, the main thing that I suggest when trading is just to be patient. Don't just snatch at the first deal, wait for some good offers, wait for that even better offer and then just take that. Um, now obviously don't be over patient and if you have like a hard sell item, um, don't just think that, oh no, I'll, I'll get an item or, or you get a pretty good offer and you think, oh no, no, I need to be more patient, I, I don't just grab it, good offers, I need to wait for a really good one. If you haven't had, if you haven't had many offers and you get a decent offer, take that because there's no point holding on to an item and declining a very good offer when you might not get another one like it. Now, obviously, there are going to be some exceptions, for example, items that are dropping in price, items that are perhaps rising in price. Um, so, for it items rising in price, I would probably just, yeah, I wouldn't be too patient. I'd try and sell them, um, but maybe be patient throughout the day as they won't be changing um like daily, that well, they'll be changing daily, but throughout the day, you'll be able to just sell the item and don't just, again, just don't just grab the first deal. And if an item is rising, I think this is where you really do need to be patient because your item is rising in value. You're going to have a lot of low balls, some like quite good offers, but you really want to be waiting for that really, really good offer for someone that really wants the item and they've been declined by a bunch of people because the item is rising and they just really want the item. So you want to just be patient, wait for the good offers, and then you can make a lot more profit. But this is going to be the end of today's video, guys. Um, I hope this will really help you make some more money and maybe save a bit of money in future. Um, so yeah, just remember, be patient when trading. Um, just take your time. Um, I will announce the uh, giveaway in my next video, so stay tuned for that. And good luck to everyone uh, who has entered the previous giveaways. Um, anybody who entered after 200 subscribers, you're still in. Um, I'll just be doing it for how many there are um, and then I'll announce the winner in my next video and I'll announce the next giveaway 
and I'll see you in the next video.